Hey guys, welcome back to Time with Phoebe. I'm Tayo. I'm Phoebe. Uh, the other day on Instagram, we discovered Soy Tiet. Hello, my name is Tiet. A man who uploads videos of himself singing numbers in order. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we really love his singing tone and how he improvises melody on something as boring as numbers to make them sound like a real song. And our favorite ones is 50 to 59 Yeah, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 So we decided to make a song out of it today And this is how we do it But if you want to skip to the song So first things first, I started by finding a tempo that fit the singing speed of Soy Tiet yeah, hey, 50. Uh, I made some basic cuts and stretches to help it fit better to the beat. 50, 51, 52. We both confirmed that the timing of the vocal worked, and then I decided to move on to the drums. Uh, for the drums, I started with a basic kick and snare pattern. Yeah, hey, 50, 51. But there definitely wasn't enough going on, so I layered a snap or a clap on every second snare hit, and then I added a percussion loop which I pitched down 13 semitones to create a sort of warmer sound. Uh, after that, I sent the vocal and drum files over to Phoebe. So first I figured out the key of the melody in D major, and then I started adding some chords that work with the melody. The chords in the first part are pretty simple, mostly just diatonic chords. Yeah, hey, 50. 51, 52, 53 And then the second half, I started adding some tasty stuff 54, 55, 56 Honestly, I don't really know what some of the chords are I just play by ear to see what works with the melody And then after putting the chords down I added some arpeggios to create some movement to the harmony 54, 55 if you are wondering what kind of sound library that I use, uh, one is Archuria DX7 and the other one is Spitfire Labs. The Labs one is free and if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description. And then I passed the session file back to Tayo. So when I got the chord progression back from Phoebe, I went woo! It definitely sounded great, but now the drums definitely needed a little bit more sauce. Catch up! So uh, I added some uh, percussion, some chimes, and some crashes to fill in some space. Uh, after that, I wanted to add in the bass line, but I couldn't figure out the chord progression, so I had to ask Phoebe to write it down. Uh, I also forgot. I needed to go back to the session. After I got the chord progression, I played the bass line on my guitar because I don't actually own a bass. And then I pitched that down one octave to get the bass sound you hear. Uh, after that, I just did some basic mixing to add some lo-fi flavor. And we were done with the track. Check, Check it, it out. out! Yeah, hey, you enjoyed this cover remix song song yeah uh, if you have any clips that you want us to make music to feel free to drop a comment down there and we'll see you, see next, you next video, video. Bye. bye